Good morning, good morning. It is a Saturday. Nevaeh and I are going to bring you along with us as we spend the day together. Blaze is headed out to go help his dad put some shelving in, so he'll be gone all morning. And then he's going to pick up a bunch of groceries for me at Aldi. I have a massive list. So it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be about 60 today, and it is the end of February, so that is incredible. So we're excited to spend the day together just doing some household things like cleaning and maybe meal preps, doing some walking, spending some time outside. So yeah, it's just gonna be a day home and I love those days because I'm a working mom so it's nice to be home. But anyways, I gotta clean up some dishes and this little one's gonna fall around. is waiting for me to fold some laundry. We got some laundry to fold, don't we? Yeah. Are you gonna fold some laundry, honey? These are some of my favorite cookies and easiest cookies. They're just banana cookies. And it is just banana, oats, and then I add raisins. So it's literally all it is. I love them for a snack to take to school. They're a little healthier. Um, Nevea. We'll be eating them too because she can just eat. That's why I used instant oats this time because she can eat that. And banana, probably not the raisin part yet, but I really enjoy these. And then I actually put peanut butter on them. Sometimes I put peanut butter in them, but they are so good. And I like to have a couple a day because really it's nothing bad in them. So they're pretty simple. And you can add add-ins, you could add nuts if you wanted. Um, I've added chia seeds, I've put dates in it, I've put craisins instead of raisins. It's really whatever you want to make your cookie or cookie, which is so nice to have. An easy cookie, bake it for 350 or 375 for like 10 minutes, and boom, it's done. and a friend called so I thought I would multitask and um, I don't know if you're like me but sometimes it is hard to focus on two things at once so I had to just focus on our conversation for a little while and then keep on working um, okay so I am doing mainly a lot of cleaning in this video and it is almost springtime, so I am so excited to be cleaning, freshening up the house. You'll hear me say that a little bit more, but I need to dust off some things in the kitchen, and I do a lot of um, kitchen cleaning here in this video, but I just needed to dust some higher up areas, and my blinds in the kitchen have not been wiped down in, oh, I could say six months. I know, yes, that is disgusting, so I had to do that, and then um, my door, my glass door was so gross because my dog <laughs> smears her nose on the outside of the door and now Nevea is touching the door a lot more as well. So little baby fingerprints and dog nose on the glass doors and when it's freezing outside you can't wipe it down because the water just freezes and I do use a Norwex window cloth and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I also use that on like my stove which you see in here and um I use microfiber cloth as well and just with some water sometimes I use some spray with these microfiber cloths I prefer the Norwex ones but these ones were just from Walmart that I'm currently using so that is what I'm getting done right now
You see me do this in many of my cleaning videos. I put a microfiber cloth on my Swiffer duster and then I use the squirt and mop spray from Grove Collaborative and that is how I clean my hardwood floors and I just love it. It's so easy, don't have to buy my own mop and yeah, it just works really well. I've had a good morning cleaning so far. Nevaeh has been down for a nap which last time I did a day in the life, she was sick, so she wouldn't nap very well. But I'm doing kind of a spring clean with me right now because it's so gorgeous out and it just makes me wanna open the windows, freshen everything up, get windows clean. All right, so sorry I got that a little chopped off. I um, had a little wardrobe malfunction that I didn't think I should show you. So I'm just gonna tell you what I said, that I'm going to be cleaning my floor mat in the kitchen because it is very gross on the bottom. You know, everything that you think stays on top somehow gets on the bottom. So I am just flipping it over, cleaning the bottom, clean the top, and then I realized my like floorboard, baseboard of my cupboards needed some wiping down along with some of my cupboards. So I thought, why not? I'm on my hands and knees anyways. Might as well get that done too. <laughs> All right, now it's time to go to my bathroom and this is a project that we want to renovate an area in our house that we're gonna end up, end up renovating. But for now, um, I'm just living with what it is like. So I'm cleaning my mirrors again with a Norwax cloth, a different one than I used for my outside windows. Um, and then I'm using the Method, it's ginger peach, I think, spray. It smells so good. And using a microfiber cloth with that and just wiping down the countertops, the backsplash area tile, um, because a lot of stuff gets up there, I'm sure, that I do not see. And then um, I'm going to be wiping down the toilet area after I get all this done. I guess I cleaned longer than I thought on the sink and countertop. <laughs> hey, it must have needed it. Um, so, okay, now to my toilet area. I do wipe this down with just some regular wipes, uh, probably three times a week, but this is more of my thorough cleaning that I am doing. Um, with a man who stands and goes to the bathroom, it does get dirty, along with having what do you want to say oh cloth diapers when a baby poops you dump it in there and i have a little spray nozzle you might see it in the back on the back of the toilet to clean off uh baby poop into the toilet so then it does get a little dirtier too all right so toilet's done uh, we're done talking about that dirty area now to my bathtub and i did switch claws i have several different claws um, that are yellow. So just letting you know, I did not use the same cloth on the toilet as I am using on the tub. So um, I do clean my tub probably once a week, but I get a more thorough clean uh, probably once a month. So I'm wiping it down just to get the grime off initially here. And then I'm gonna go in with a magic eraser and get the bottom. And that is what I'm doing now because those things are magic. Seriously, they work so well on our porcelain style tub. So, and I just use the Dollar Tree ones too and they work super well, just say. And you don't have to get the actual magic eraser brand to make them work. It is chocolate chip cookie making time. I have not used my KitchenAid mixer in many months. I store it away and so sometimes I forget about it. So it's time to pull it out and make some cookies. And I decided to just do plain old chocolate chip. Nothing healthy about them, but Blaze and I really enjoyed them. And Miss Nevea wanted to get in on the action a little bit too. 
and yeah it was just kind of fun to bake and be doing that while I was home cleaning as well since I had some cleaning done. It was kind of like a reward. I love baking. It's really relaxing to me. So I thought I'd do that. And then Blaze got home with all our groceries. So Nevaeh and I work on that, putting all the groceries away. We do shop at Aldi and so he had picked up several things we needed that were on my list. It was quite a long list. So I was so grateful for him to go do that for us. Hey honey. All right, I got most of our groceries put away. They're so reusable bags. Blaze picked up three of these. So we'll just keep them downstairs. There's little miss. Oh, she wants one up. I'm gonna take this stuff out to our deep freeze. We have some extra spinach, bread, and there's a chicken. And there is my new clock. I love it. Um, I wanted to change this one out, but this one, this one is, actually going to be this one's going to be too big for that so this was $25 on Facebook marketplace and thank you hubby for picking it up is it even the right time what time is it no it's not the right time guess we'll have to put the battery pack in and look at this she's been getting up on her knees so I know there's stairs there so I'm watching her Just being cautious and our fridge is nice and full again it's always a nice feeling to open a fridge and see it full. I don't mind the empty because then it's more organized and clean looking, but there it is full. We love our egg. You see that? And we store bread in there because Blaze only eats the bread. But I want to keep fresh flowers on the table until I get some cut flowers myself from my own garden. So I'm excited to put these on the table. Are they just gorgeous? Oh, so excited. Miss Nevaeh did not take her nap. So she's just sitting there playing with some toys right now. And I have Lynette Yoder on. Yeah, making some noise, aren't ya? <laughs> yup. So Blaze did make it home. As you saw, I got the groceries and all that stuff put away. I um, gotta go and help at the church real quick. And with a friend, so. Um, sometimes his Saturdays just end up getting really filled up and he's a gracious man and is so willing to help others So he is out doing that again um, anyways I Am going to finish cleaning up and then see what this little girl needs Last batch of cookies out of the oven Can turn this baby off Don't those look gorgeous? Fresh cookies to have on hand for my hubby. He'll be very grateful for that. I just can't get over her sometimes. <laughs> oh, she's such a silly girl. Isn't it just beautiful? 
that'll last for about the week. So, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So some of you may wonder why I mainly film just on Saturdays, and that is because if you don't know, I am a working mom. I am a teacher, if you are new and haven't been following me for a while. So I like to get a lot done on Saturdays and hang out with my little one. Um, so that is why I do film a lot on this day. It is my day to kind of film and prep. So, um, and prep literally the house, food, all that good stuff. I do like to take my Sundays more as my day of rest because uh, I believe it's the day that God gave us to rest and worship. And so I do that. I do meal prep some on Sunday as well, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you <laughs> I'm a little bit squirmy here because I often do have my day in the life on a Saturday so I just thought you may want to know <laughs> why that is so I gotta put this little one down otherwise she's gonna just squirm right under my arms here here is our supper for the night I just did a chicken cabbage stir fry i did use ramen i use the individual packs and dump out the um, seasoning mix and just do liquid aminos so i don't use soy sauce because this is a much healthier alternative and then i also use chicken broth in there um, some carrots green beans that i had from our garden in the freezer and what else oh garlic onion and that may have been it, so um, I'm excited for this. I always love a good stir fry. The chicken was left over from earlier in the week. I cook a whole chicken most of the time, um, and so that's what I did. Well, I am going to end my vlog here. It is the next day. Um, last night, Blaze and I watched the film Overcomer together. It, it is a um, Christ-based film and very inspirational, motivational, and I highly recommend it if you have not seen it. So, um, yeah, the night just got a little bit later and went to bed around 10.30. Nevaeh woke up um, needing a little comfort, too, so that took up a little bit of our evening. But, anyways, I wanted to end the vlog, and I hope you enjoyed it, so give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'd love to have you subscribe if you have not. I do videos like this and lifestyle videos, motherhood, thrifting videos, so I hope you consider subscribing. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful day, and I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.